Hey everyone, it's Emmy. So I'm going to film a tutorial today. Um, I'm probably going to do uh, like a red and purple kind of smoky eye maybe. So we'll, we'll just see how it goes. I've moved my mirror up so it kind of, I don't know, maybe it doesn't look like I'm looking down. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm still figuring all this crap out. Um, but I'm going to start with my eyes. So I'm just going to take the Since I Heart Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. And I'm just going to put this all over my eyes. I'm just going to spread it out with my finger. I just find this warms the product up and kind of makes it easier to spread. And then I take my blending sponge and just blend out any finger marks. So next I'm going to take the Tartlet palette from Tarte. I'm going to take Free Spirit and I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid just so all the colours blend nicely together. I really like this colour because it's that nice yellowy colour. It just really suits my skin a lot better than others. So yeah, just putting that all over. I'm going to take my OXX Cosmetics palette. So I got this for $1 on clearance from Kmart, so I'm not sure if they're still stocking it. Uh, but these, this and the other one that I have are basically the only palettes I use for super colourful looks, like all of my colourful looks are either this giant palette that I got from Kmart a little while ago or these little ones. This brush I'm using is a BYS blending brush and I actually have two of these because they're amazing. This brush is so soft, so fluffy, so good for blending out the crease and everything. Oh, I just love it so much. BYS is just so affordable. I mean going off only this brush. The brushes are so soft and so amazing. Um, if you've seen my last video of the Peaches palette, their eyeshadows are ridiculously amazing as well. I, I honestly just can't get over it. They're so good. I guess I'm just putting this in the crease and being really messy about this colour just because it's kind of more of the transition kind of colour. I'm going to be putting a lot of colours over this. And next I'm going to take the NYX Ultimate Ultimate Brights palette. This palette I haven't seen in my local price line in WA. Um, my parents actually bought this for me in Hawaii. I'm sorry that I'm using this. I My whole plan with my channel was that I would use only products that you can buy in Australia, just so it's easy for Australian viewers. Okay, sorry about that. My SD card was full, so hopefully now we're okay. Um, I'm pretty sure I was just complaining that we can't get this palette in Australia, or at least in WA. I haven't seen it on the Priceline website, so I'm assuming it's not available. So I'm just taking this orange colour. And just deepening up the crease with that. Sorry if you can hear a bunch of trucks throughout this. Live in a new estate. There's a lot of building going around on around near me. Like they're building a high school across the road from me, they're building houses all up and down the street. Very busy area. And I am filming in my bedroom, which is at the very front of the house, right on the road. So next I'm taking the NYX primal colors in hot red. I'm not sure of it. Uh, I might need to put a base under this. So I'm just going to take my NYX jumbo pencil in white or in milk, sorry, but it is the white one. And I'm just going to apply this on my lid just as a base for this red color. This, I mean, even with this, this red comes off very pink, like more of a hot pink than a, 
and then red. I am going to go a little bit higher with this, just on this eye. This is my more hooded eye. Let's try this again. Mix hot red, primal color. Pack it on my brush. And we're just going to have to deal with fallout because I feel like dusting off the fallout kind of made it disappear a little bit. See how it's like more of a hot pink than a red? I like to get like a red red, like a really good red because I love wearing red on my eyes. I feel like it just, it looks so good with the blue. I'm just going to take the same BYS blender brush and just blend that all together. Just put a bit red on the brush. Just to really diffuse the edges. I'm basically covering up all of that orange with the red and just kind of leaving the slight gradient where the orange is blended out and then the yellow. Same with the other eye. I'm just going to take a clean version of the same brush. Like I said earlier, I have two. I'm prepared. And I'm just going to go back into the yellow from this palette. And just really blend it on the edge of this eye. Just because it looks like I've lost some of that in the red. I'm just trying to now the colour on both eyes. I'm going to fix the shape once I do my lower lid. And just again with the red, not putting any extra colour on, just blending. Now I'm going to again take the NYX Brights palette, the Ultimate Brights palette, and I'm just going to take this really deep purple colour. I'm just going to put that in the crease, really right up in there. I'm just going to take that down towards my lashes as well. I'm making a V shape and then I'm just going to pull that in to deepen up that outer edge. And then I am going to take my fluffy brush again with the red on it and just really blend it. Didn't pack more on because it kind of looks like this is pulling the colour off. Like I said earlier, I'm still just figuring out this palette and how the shades work but it really does look like colour is just kind of not sticking. I'm just going to take the hot red again. Just pack that over my lids because it's kind of lost a bit of its intensity. But you can really see how pink it pulls once I've got the purple on it over the top of it. It literally just looks like hot pink. I could probably wet it with a setting spray, but unfortunately the only setting spray I have right now super irritates my eyes and I do not recommend using a setting spray that hurts your eyes because it will ruin your makeup. <laughs> I've like sprayed it on and my eyes have just watered for the rest of the day. I'm just going to take a bit of cotton with some micellar water and that was attractive and just gently clean up all the fallout I haven't primed my face or anything just washed and moisturized and I'm just going to wipe up the excess fallout I'm going to prime with my designer brands pore minimizing primer 
This is possibly my favourite primer at the moment. So I focus this one mainly on my nose and where my pores are, just under my eyes or my cheeks. I'm going to take the Fifth Avenue Colour Correcting Primer from Kmart. This one is $9. And it's not my favourite primer, but I'm just putting it on the outer edges of my face. Just for some extra help with the other primer. And it's just really, it's really moisturising and um, it's pretty mattifying. I don't, I wouldn't say that it really corrects any of my redness or anything. So I like to do my foundation before I do like my brows or anything because I just use brow powder. Like I just use eyeshadow so I don't stress about them. For foundation I'm just going to use the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 hour foundation. I'm using the shade 100 Ivory. It's the only one that I have at the moment that matches me because I am a lot tanned, a lot more tanned than what I normally am. But I'm also still pale, so. For concealer, I'm using the Essence Camouflage Full Coverage Concealer. Funny story, kind of off topic story, but I went into Maya in Perth. So I wanted to look, I'm trying, I'm doing my own makeup for my wedding and I'm trying to find a foundation that's going to last all day because we're, we're kind of doing our wedding in reverse. Um, so I'm, we're getting married in the afternoon, really late in the afternoon because we're having the wedding and the ceremony in a bar or in like a pub and um, the ceremony is at like 2.30 or something. Obviously we need to have photos taken before dark. So we're getting the photos done in the morning, kind of untraditional, who's going to see me before I'm married, but before we're married, but whatever, because, I mean, I'm also not wearing a white dress to my wedding. So I kind of need a foundation that's going to last literally all day and night. Like, I'm going to be wearing this shit for, like, more than 16 hours, probably. So, I need that shit to last. <laughs> And I wanted to try the, the YSL All Hours. And I was talking to the lady um, and getting shade matched. And she was like, well, we have these two colors that would work. They're not the right shade, but they'd, they'd work for you. And I was like, well, is there a shade between the two? And she was like, yeah, but um, we don't get it in Australia. And I was like, oh. <laughs> story of my life and um, she then told me like in Europe and states America they um, they have like 40 shades or something in the all hours foundation and in Australia we get 10 shades that's like <laughs> we're missing 30 shades of that foundation and one of the shades that we're missing just happens to be my colour. So at this point I'm going to powder my face. And I don't bake per se, I just set my my face with my sponge. Um, and I'm going to do my eyebrows with the Tarte Lip Palette. And I like to take, um, I just like to take Multitasker. And use that to fill my brows in. Alright, so I fucked up one of my eyebrows, so I'm just going to take my sponge and just kind of blend that away. My eyebrows are different shapes. I can't be bothered dealing with that. I just like to ignore it mostly. I've been considering like shaving off my eyebrows recently. I'm not shaving them off but like kind of kind of doing like elf elf eyebrows like just like I'm gonna take the NYX red again. I'm going to put this under my eye and I'm not stressed about the pigmentation under my eye because most of this is going to be covered with the purple. And it seems to be coming out quite nicely over the foundation. I'm just going to try and link that up to the top. And this is hard for me on my eyes because of the shape of them and I have really watery um, outer corners. So a lot of the time the colour there will just 
fade away. This eye shape always comes out kind of better. This eye always comes out more blended. Um, so because of that, I am just going to take the blendy, really diffuse the edge along here, just to kind of diffuse it even more. I'm actually just going to use the Free Spirit color from the Tartlet palette just because it's kind of more of like a foundation-y colour and just blend under that and just blend it out I'm going to take Free Spirit again and just go under my brows just to diffuse that and create more of a blend and a gradient and I'm just going to take the purple again from the Brights palette and I'm just going to put that right along my lower lash line, right along here. See my eyes already watering and losing the colour there. It's so frustrating. <laughs> this is another BYS brush. I fucking... I love BYS. I can't even... If you have fallout and you've already done your foundation, you've already done your powder, or even before you've done your powder, a fluffy brush like this, or a fan brush, I like using a big fan brush. This big fan brush, it's this really soft fan brush. I just like using fluffy big brushes like this and you just flick it away and the fallout's gone. So what I'm going to do now is just take my beauty sponge just got like powder and foundation on it and I just use this to pull my eye down and a cotton tip and I just clean the lower waterline of any colour because it's more than likely that I've got colour all over there oh look at that oh god damn it this eye is fine this eye is perfect this eye is a bitch so, cleared that. Now I'm just going to take this Essence. Well, this was from a collection, but it's just like a regular cream colour. Just to make my eyes look bigger, I just put this on my waterline. It's also good to put this when you're using red eyeshadows. It just makes it look like you don't have an eye infection. Now I'm just going to take my Essence Gel waterproof black pencil I fucked this up because I didn't realize that this was like a twisty thing so I tried to sharpen it and it's fucked I still use it though so I'm just gonna put this on my upper waterline and make really attractive faces again and make this eye water even more So for mascara, I'm just going to use my favourite CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom. I love this mascara. I think mine might be drying out. I love this one. It's so good. Like the wand is just, it's like one of those silicone ones with like the really tiny bristles. I just love it for getting right in there. Right, now I'm going to use these really manky looking <laughs> Kmart lashes. These are in Tiffany. And I'm just going to do this off camera because it's just too hard to, to do it on camera. So, I'm back in a second. Okay, so the glue on this eye is still kind of drying. But this is what the lashes look like. I love these lashes. And I'm so proud of how far my lash applying skills have come because I used to not wear lashes ever. This eye is just progressively getting worse but we're just going to ignore that. I'm going to use the Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer from Too Faced. This is only a tester one because again cannot afford full size. It's very expensive. These are like $45 in Australia I think. And I'm just going to bronze up because the red 
on my eyes even though I am slightly more tanned it does still tend to kind of wash out my face so I'm just going to bronze I'm going to take the NYX blush in taupe I'm just going to contour with this and I am really contouring high up sorry you probably can't really see that Contouring high up on my cheeks. And I do contour under my jawbone, in my jawline, because I have a round face. There I am now I lip. Uh, I know this is really annoying, but I'm going to use this Sephora Snow Glow. This was their holiday palette, I'm pretty sure. And this did come with names, but it came on one of those stupid plastic things and I lost it. Um, but I'm going to use this blush colour because it's beautiful. It is such a gorgeous blush colour and I love it. subtle and I don't like a lot of blush I really don't wear a lot of blush I kind of just do my contour and then I leave it at that but this one is just so subtle and nice it just gives extra color to the face and then for highlight I'm just going to use my Mary Luminizer this is my all-time favorite highlight <laughs> it's so pretty so pretty. Bit of that on my nose. Put lip balm on, but I'm just gonna go over my cupid's bow. Then I'm just going to take a kind of dense, kind of fluffy brush. Use that as a brow highlight. Well, and I'm going to put this in my inner corners as well. I'm just going to prime my lips with the Astralis All About That Base Lip Primer. Okay, so that's dry now, and it just kind of dries to like a balm, but it like sits on top. I don't know, it just feels really nice. So I'm going to take the Astralis Velour Lips Lip Matte Lip Cream in Paris. This is just like a really nice, really muted, like my lips but better shade. I love this colour. This is probably my favourite colour from the range. Love it so much. This is the final look. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you like this look. Um, please like and subscribe if you did like the video. Uh, hopefully I'll be bringing out heaps more content. Um, it all just kind of depends on my baby sleeping pattern. So we'll see what happens with that. But. Please definitely like and subscribe if you like this. Follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is Makeup by Emmy. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.